Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a channel or band splitter in Reaper. Now, the idea of a band splitter is to split our bands or frequencies into equal parts. So let's say we created a three band splitter. We'd have low frequency or bass, mid range, and treble or high end. And then in Reaper, we could treat them separately, either mix them differently, add a different compressor to each one, which will create multi band compression, or anything you could think of, like adding a flanger just to the top end or the mid range, adding a phaser just to the low end. Anything you could think of, you can do. And we could do this with any audio. It could be a drum bus, it could be guitars, bass, or even a full mix like we have here. Let's hear it. So let me show you how to set this up. Go to our effects, go to all plugins, and in the filter, type in splitter. And we have a few different options. Three band, four band, and five band. They all behave the same way. It just creates more bands or more frequencies to split. So to keep this simple, let's use a three band splitter. And it looks like this. It only has two parameters, which are the crossover frequencies. By default, it's 200 Hertz and two kilohertz. So our first band or the low end is everything below 200 Hertz. Then our mid band is between 200 Hertz and two kilohertz. And then the high end is from two kilohertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. But we can change it to anything we want. Now, if we hit play right now, we only hear the low band. That's because it's split by channels. And to see this, we want to go over here to the plugin pin connector. And here we could see what's happening with the signal. Our two channels or our mix are being split right over here. One and two is the low end, three and four is the mid range, and five and six is the high end. So right now we're only hearing one and two on this channel. If we want to hear them all, we can just take these out and send the mid range to one and two along with the high end. So now we should hear the whole thing. But if we want to treat these separately, let's put these back to their own channel. And let's do it like this. Let's go to our routing and take it out. So now we hear nothing. And let's create new tracks. Go to insert, insert multiple tracks. And we'll create three new tracks, one for each band. We'll name them Splitter. And now we have three separate tracks to play with. So now we'll create a send from this one to our first. And we'll keep one and two being sent to one and two. So now we should hear the low end from this track. And we do. Now let's create a send to the next track. But this time, we'll switch the stereo source to three and four. So now three and four from this track are going here. So this is the bass and this is the mid range. And we'll do the same thing for the last track. Change this to five and six. And now five and six from this track is being sent to this track. So now we can rebalance our audio with faders. Let's go to our mixer and we can rebalance each one of these tracks. And 
we could also process them completely differently. Let's go to our bass and solo it. And let's add a compressor just to the bass track. Let's use Reaper's Recomp Compressor. So now we're just compressing the low end. And we could hear that mixed in with this. Let's do the same with the mid-range. Let's just duplicate it. Solo it. And finally, with the high end. Let's duplicate it. Let's change the frequency for the high band to make the crossover a bit higher. So it's just the real high frequencies, above five kilohertz. And by compressing them separately, the effect is more subtle there'll be less pumping and breathing in our audio. And each frequency is controlled separately. So let's mix that in. It's a pretty powerful effect and gives us a lot of control over the audio. Now, if you didn't want to separate this into different tracks, we could do it all on the main track. Let's delete all this. And instead, go back to a master parent send. And now we're just hearing the low end again. As you can see from here, but we could add a mixer plugin on this track. Let's go to our effects. Let's go to all plugins and search mixer. And right over here, we have an eight stereo to one stereo mixer. Let's choose that. Make sure it's after the band splitter. And right here we have a mixer for each one of these channels. And if we go back to a plugin connector on the splitter, we can see them all separated one through six. So if we go to our mixer, we should hear everything in this track. And we do, and we can control it from these faders. Now, if you wanted to add a compressor or any effect in between, we can still do that. Let's add a compressor. right here, and let's put it before the mixer. And now we need to go in to the plugin connector and make sure it's set up just for one and two, going out to one and two, which is our low end. Let's remove the auxiliary input. Now this compressor is just for our bass. Let's turn these two off. So we're just hearing the bass. Then we could duplicate this by copying it and pasting it and put this before the mixer, go to the plug-in connector and switch this one to three and four goes to three and four. 
So now this compressor is just for the mid-range. Let's duplicate this one, copy and paste. Let's put this one before the mixer, and this will be for the high end. Go to the plug in connector and switch this to five and six, goes to five and six. Let's bring this down, and we'll just hear the top end. Now we can mix it all right in here. It's pretty powerful. And like I said, we could put any effects on each one of the bands. Maybe put a chorus on the bass or a wah wah or a dynamic filter just on the mid-range or the top end, you can be as creative as you want. And with Reaper and the band splitter, anything you can think of is possible. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a channel or band splitter in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.